Block Island or Manises is part of the U.S. state of Rhode Island. It is located in the Atlantic Ocean about 13 miles south of the coast of Rhode Island, 14 miles east of Montic Point, Long Island, New York, and is separated from the Rhode Island mainland by Block Island Sound. The United States Census Bureau defines Block Island as Census Tract 415 of Washington County, Rhode Island. As of the 2010 census, the island's population of 1,051 lived on a land area of 9.734 square miles. The island is part of the Outer Lands region, a coastal archipelago made by the recessional and terminal moraine that resulted from the Wisconsinian Laurentide Glacier Retreat. About 22,000 years ago, the Nature Conservancy aided Block Island to its list of the last great places. The list consists of 12 sites in the Western Hemisphere. About 40% of the island is set aside for conservation. Presidents Bill Clinton, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and a Ulysses S. Grant have visited Block Island. Other famous visitors include Amelia Earhart and Charles Lindbergh, who each made separate trips to the island in 1929. Block Island is coextensive with the town of New Shoreham. The island is a popular summer tourist destination and is known for its bicycling, hiking, sailing, fishing, and beaches. The island hosts two historic lighthouses. Block Island North Light, on the northern tip of the island, and Block Island Southeast Light, on the southeastern side. Much of the northwestern tip of the island is an undeveloped natural area and resting stop for birds along the Atlantic Flyway. Every summer the island hosts Block Island Race Week, a competitive, week-long sailboat race. On odd years, the event is held by the Storm Trisail Club, and on even years by the Block Island Race Week. Yachts compete in various classes, sailing courses in Block Island Sound and circumnavigating the island. Other popular events include the annual 4th of July parade and celebration. During these times the island's population can triple over the normal summer vacation crowd. Early History the Neatic Indians called the island Manises, Little Island of Manitou, or simply Little Island. Archaeological sites indicate that these people lived largely by hunting deer, catching fish and shellfish, and growing corn, beans, and squash, presumably with the Three Sisters technique. They migrated from forest to coastal areas to take advantage of seasonal resources. Artifacts found in the area suggest that American Indians visited the area as far back as 8000 BC and as a permanent settlement since 500 AD, initially supporting around 600 inhabitants. In 1524, what later became known as Block Island was sighted by Giovanni da Verrazzano, who named it Claudia in honor of Claude. Duchess of Brittany, Queen Consort of France and the wife of Francis I. However, several contemporaneous maps identified the same island as Louisa, after Louise of Savoy, the Queen Mother of France and the mother of Francis I. Verrazzano's ship log stated that the island was full of hills, covered with trees, well peopled for we saw fires all along the coaster. In 1614, Block Island was chartered by the Dutch explorer Adrian Block, who named it for himself. Per quote war. The shifting power dynamics of the region in this time caused the Neatic people to split into two divisions. The Western Neatic, who allied with the Pequot and Mohegan, and the Eastern Neatic, who allied with the Narragansett. These alliances, however, were constantly tested by the colonists. In 1632, Indians killed English traders John Stone and Walter Norton, and the Pequots of eastern Connecticut were blamed. A Pequot delegation presented magistrates in Boston with two bushels of wampum and a bundle of sticks representing the number of beaver and otter, with which they would compensate the English for the deaths. They sought peace with the English and also requested help establishing concord with the Narragansetts, who boarded them to the east. The English, in turn, demanded the Indians responsible for killing Stone and Norton. 
a promise not to interfere with English settlement in Connecticut, and 400 fathoms of wampum and the pelts of 40 beaver and 30 otter. In 1636, John Gallup came across the boat of trader John Oldham, a noted troublemaker. Oldham had flirted with impropriety since the day that he landed on American soil. Not long after arriving in Plymouth in 1623, Oldham grew very perverse and showed a spirit of great malignancy, according to Plymouth Colony Governor William Bradford. Oldham was later accused of religious subversion and responded with impertinence, hurling invective at his accusers and even drawing a knife on Captain Miles Standish. He was banished from Plymouth and fled to Massachusetts Bay, settling first in Nantasket, then Cape Ann, and finally Watertown, where he continued to indulge his penchant for mayhem. Despite his unsavory reputation, or perhaps because of it, Massachusetts Bay sought Oldham's extensive knowledge of the New England coast when they asked him to retrieve a hefty ransom on the colony's behalf. It was on this mission that Oldham was murdered and dismembered, and Gallup came across his boat, without consulting the Connecticut colonists, Massachusetts, in August, sent a punitive expedition for Oldham's murder of 90 men under John Endicott to Block Island with instructions to kill every Neatic warrior and capture the women and children, who would be valuable as slaves. The expedition was ordered by Massachusetts Governor Henry Vane to massacre all of the native men on the island. The expedition killed 14 Eastern Neatic and burned their village and crops. The English burned 60 wigwams in the cornfields. They also shot every dog, but the Neatic fled into the woods, and the soldiers only managed to kill 14 of them. Deciding this punishment was insufficient, Endicott and his men sailed over to Fort Saybrook before going after the Pequot village at the mouth of the Thames River to demand 1,000 fathoms of wampum to pay for the murder of John Oldham and took some Pequot children as hostages to ensure peace. This incident is seen as one of the initial events that led to the Pequot War. This expedition from the Boston area in 1636 led by John Endicott claimed the island by conquest. As a result, the island became part of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, which in 1658 sold the island to a group of men headed up by Endicott. In 1661, the Endicott group sold the island to a party of 16 settlers, led by John Orcock, who are today memorialized at Settlers Rock, near Cow's Cove. In 1663, island settler Thomas Terry sold to four chief sachems, the island's largest fresh pond and its surrounding area. Their names were recorded as Ninakunshus, Jaguant, Tunkawatan, and Senatic. The Sachems called this pond Tonotun Nug. In 1664, natives on the island numbered somewhere from 1,200 to 1,500. By 1774, that number had been reduced to 51. A Dutch map of 1685 clearly shows Block Island, indicated as Adrian Block's Aylant. In 1699, the Scottish sailor William Kidd visited Block Island shortly before he was accused of piracy and hanged. At Block Island he was supplied by Mercy Raymond, daughter of the mariner James Sands. The story has it that, for her hospitality, Kidd bade Mrs. Raymond hold out her apron, into which he threw gold and jewels until it was full. After her husband, Joshua Raymond, died, Mercy moved with her family to northern New London, Connecticut, where she bought much land. The Raymond family was thus said to have been enriched by the apron. History since colonial times as the new settlers had an allegiance to Rhode Island on several levels, Block Island was incorporated by the Rhode Island General Assembly in 1672, and the island government adopted the name New Shoreham during the War of 1812. Block Island was briefly occupied by the British Navy under the command of Sir Thomas Hardy. British vessels included HMS Dispatch, HMS Terror, HMS Nimrod, HMS Pactolis, and HMS Ramleys. 
Hardy took the fleet to Block Island in search of food and to establish a strategic position at the mouth of Long Island Sound. The British were enraged to discover that nearly all Block Island livestock and food stores had been transferred to Stonington, Connecticut, in advance of their arrival. On August 9, 1814, Hardy and his fleet departed Block Island for Stonington Harbor in part to lay claim to the Block Island food stores and livestock. Hardy's pre-dawn raid on August 10 was repulsed with damage to his fleet in a battle that has since become known as the Battle of Stonington. In 1829, the original North Lighthouse was built, but it was replaced in 1837 after it was washed out to sea. The ocean claimed this lighthouse also, and the lighthouse that can be seen today was constructed only in 1867. A few years later, in 1873, construction began on Block Island's other lighthouse, Southeast Light. Since Block Island has no natural harbors, breakwaters were constructed to form Old Harbor in 1870. Block Island's other harbor, New Harbor, would not be created until 1895, when a channel was dug to connect the Great Salt Pond to the ocean through the northwestern side of the island. The Island Free Library, Block Island's only public library, was established in 1875. Block Island was devastated by the 1938 New England hurricane. Many islanders and tourists lost their lives during storm surge flooding. During World War II, several artillery spotters were located on the island to direct fire from the heavy gun batteries at Fort Greene, Point Judith that protected the entrance to Narragansett Bay. Lookout positions for the spotters were built to look like houses. The U.S. government offered to evacuate the island, as it could not be effectively defended from enemy invasion. However, the islanders chose to stay. Days before the war against Germany ended, the Battle of Point Judith took place seven miles to the northeast of the island. The island's airport was opened in 1950 and remains open today as a general aviation airport. In 1972 the Block Island Conservancy was founded. The Conservancy and other environmental organizations are responsible for protecting over 40% of the island from development. In 1974 Old Harbor Historic District was declared a National Register Historic District. Discussions of Block Island's old buildings, native islanders, history, and ongoing efforts to conserve the land, together with a collection of 800 period photographs of the island spanning the 1870s to the 1980s, are found in four books, Block Island, The Sea, Block Island, The Land, and Volumes 1 and 2 of the Block Island History of Photography, all by historian Robert M. Downey. Block Island School. Block Island School was built in 1933, replacing five one-roomed schools. Today, the Block Island School educates about 120 students, kindergarten through senior year. A regular school day, Monday through Thursday, runs from 7.50 a.m. to 2.50 p.m. Every Friday, school dismisses at 12.22 p.m. to allow for student-athletes to travel for sporting events either on or off the island. The Block Island Hurricanes compete in three main sports, each play during different seasons. In the fall, the Bicanes have both a junior high soccer team which consists of 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, and a varsity soccer team which consists of high school students. Both soccer teams are co-ed. This year, the Block Island Hurricanes finished as the first seed in the Coastal Prep League and went on to win the 2014 CPL Championship against Oxford Academy. During the winter, the Block Island school students play basketball. There is a junior high girls, a junior high boys, a varsity girls, and a varsity boys basketball team. Each of the three teams experienced some extent of success throughout the 2014-2015 season. The junior high teams showed promising talent that will later help the varsity teams in future years. The varsity girls produced one of their most impressive seasons in recent school history.
This included senior Kylie Hall being named a 2014-2015 Rhode Island Interscholastic Basketball League All-Star for Division III Basketball. During this same year, she also became the third player in school history to achieve 1,000 career high school points. The first and second students who did this were Ross Draper and Derek Marsalia. As for the Block Island varsity boys basketball team, they achieved total success in their season. They experienced an undefeated season and went on to win the 2014-2015 Coastal Prep League Championship for boys basketball. With only seven players on the roster, every one of them had an impact on each game. This is the first time in school history that the Hurricanes have won the championship in two different sports during one year. Year. The BIS students also compete in baseball and softball in the spring. There are junior high and varsity teams for both baseball and softball. Male spring athletes take part in baseball events while female athletes compete versus other softball teams. The varsity softball team worked well during the 2015 season winning more than half of their games. During the 2015 season, the boys' varsity baseball team showed dominance. They only lost one league game and went on to win the Coastal Prep League Championship for baseball. This marked history once again representing the first time that students have won the championship in each sport in one year. Because of the small number of students on the Little Island, six student athletes competed on all three championship-winning teams. Timothy O'Neill, Mason Littlefield, Griffin Hall, Richard Conant, Ryan McGarry, and Jameson Brown Padian. They are known as the Silent Six. Climate Block Island's weather is greatly influenced by the surrounding ocean and prevailing winds that generally blow offshore. The climate is oceanic, a rarity on an east coast in the northern hemisphere. Because the ocean stays cold during the spring and summer months, Block Island stays cooler than the mainland during this period. However, summers can still be hot on Block Island although July and August average in the mid and upper 70s instead of low and mid 80s that New York and southern New England experience. Block Island's record high temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit on August 26 and 27, 1948 and the record low is minus 7 degrees Fahrenheit on January 16, 1994. The lowest high temperature on record was 8 degrees Fahrenheit on December 31, 1962 and January 8, 1968 and the highest low temperature on record was 76 degrees Fahrenheit on August 2, 1979. Block Island stays warmer than the mainland during the fall and winter months when the ocean remains relatively warmer than the mainland. Block Island's high and low temperature averages and precipitation averages. Beaches Crescent Beach can be viewed from the P.T. Judith Ferry and the New London Express Ferry on the way to the island. It contains four smaller beaches, Fred Benson Town Beach, Rouse's Beach, Scotch Beach, and Mansion Beach, all of which are located on Corn Neck Road. State Beach and Ballard's Beach are the only beaches on the island with on-duty lifeguards. State Beach has a pavilion with food and beach rentals. Baby Beach, called by locals, begins at the Surf Hotel, near the Beachhead Restaurant on Corn Neck Road. Scotch Beach is located just north of Fred Benson Town Beach and Mansion Beach is located north of Scotch Beach. North of Mansion Beach are Clare Head and Pots and Kettles. Clay Head is a set of cliffs which can be seen from the ferry in from Point Judith or New London. This area is rocky and contains iron-rich clay deposits, and is a popular area for shell and rock hunting. Cow Cove, Settlers Rock, and Sandy Point make up the northernmost point of Block Island. Here lies the North Lighthouse and the Postcard Sunsets. Settlers Rock is located at Cow Cove, where the settlers landed and swam to shore bringing with them the island's first cows which they pushed off the boats and forced to shore. Attached to the rock is a plaque naming the original settlers of Block Island. This beach is not ideal for swimming on the ocean side, especially at the point, due to strong rip currents. 
On the other side, however, is Sachem Pond, fresh water and good for swimming. On the south side of the island, Black Rock Beach is widely regarded as the best beach for surfing on the island due to its high surf. However, the beach tends to be very rocky and has a reputation for being a nude beach, despite laws against nudity on Rhode Island's beaches. It is located near the Mohegan Bluffs and Southeast Lighthouse. Coast Guard Beach is situated between the Great Salt Pond and the ocean on the northwest side of the island. It is a popular beach for fishing and walking, but not particularly good for swimming due to the large number of boats traveling nearby. Ballard's Beach is on the southern side of the Block Island Ferry Dock and Jetty. Set right in front of Ballard's Restaurant and Inn, popular with boaters and with the young crowd. There are cocktail waitresses on the sand, and daily live music outside. There's also a busy volleyball court with daily games and tournaments. There are lifeguards on duty at Ballard's Beach. Bluffs Beach is set at the bottom of Mohegan Bluffs. It can be accessed from its small parking lot down the 144 stairs to this rocky area, known for its spectacular view. At the foot of these steep wooden stairs are big rocks leading to the beach.